Example 1 asks us to find the six trigonometric functions of theta. And in order to do this, we're going to need to find the value of the missing side first. Once we do that, we can use the definitions of each of the trig functions to evaluate. So, because this is a right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. I know that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So c squared equals 12 squared plus 5 squared. Or c would equal, if you took the square root of both sides, you should put a plus or minus the square root of 169. But since this is a triangle and we're talking about a length, we really only want the positive. So c is going to equal 13. Now that I have the missing side, I can use the mnemonic device to help me remember. Sokotoa. So I know the sine of theta is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that would be 5 over 13. I know the cosine of theta is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. which will be 12 over 13. And I know that the tangent of theta is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, which is going to be 5 over 12. Now once I have the first three, the, the next three are just reciprocals of the original. So the cosecant, which is 13 over 5, the secant is 13 over 12, and the cotan is 12 over 5. And just one thing to remember is it's very easy to confuse these reciprocals because the one that starts with a C is actually the reciprocal of the sine and the one that starts with an S is the reciprocal of the cosine which is a little frustrating at first but you work on memorizing those. You are required to know uh, the defini definitions of the six trig functions. Alright, let's try another one. Find the value of each of the six trigonometric functions of theta. So again, we have a missing side. We know we want to find b. We know that 3 squared equals 1 squared plus b squared. So b squared would equal 9 minus 1, which is 8. So b is going to equal the square root of 8. In this case, again, we don't need the plus or minus because we know we're dealing with a triangle. So the length is it's going to be positive. I can simplify the square root of 8 as 2 square roots of 2. I'd like to do. And then we'll write our six trigonometric functions and we're going to rationalize our answers here. So I'll put my two square roots of two in for b. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which would be one third. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which will be two square roots of two. over 3. The tangent is the opposite over the adjacent, which is 1 over 2 squared to 2. Now if I want to rationalize that, I would multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2, which would give me a square root of 2 in the numerator. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is equal to 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, so the denominator is the square root of 2 over 4. Now I'm going to take the reciprocal of these functions, so I'm going to get 3 over 1, or just 3 for the cosecant. The secant is going to be 3 over the 2 square root of 2, and I'm actually going to write that to the left side so I can have room to rationalize. So I'm going to rationalize that by multiplying by the square root of 2 over 2. I'm going to get 3 square root of 2 over 4. And let's look at the last one, the cotan. And so if I take the reciprocal of the square root of 2 over 4, I'm going to get 4 over the square root of 2, and I'm going to have to rationalize. So since we rationalize this, it's actually easier when you're going to take the reciprocal to go back to the part that was before it was rationalized. So take the reciprocal of 1 over 2 square roots of 2, and you get 2 square roots of 2.
So I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to try the student practice. Make sure you rationalize your answers and then start the video up to check your work. Okay, we're missing B again in this problem. We'll start by writing C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So 5 squared equals 1 squared plus B squared. B squared equals 25 minus 1, which is 24. We take the square root of both sides. Again, I don't need the plus or minus here because I know my answer is going to be positive. And so this can be simplified. It would be 4 times 6 or 2 square roots of 6. We simplify that radical. And now we can set up our ratios. The sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so that would be 1 fifth. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which would be 2 square roots of 6 over 5. The tangent is going to be the opposite over the adjacent, which is going to be 1 over 2 square roots of 6. The reciprocal of 1 over 5 is 5, so the cosecant is 5. The secant, again, I'm going to have to rationalize this, and I didn't leave a whole lot of room, so I'm going to write 5 over 2 square roots of 6, then I'll rationalize by multiplying by the square root of 6 over the square root of 6, which would be 5 square roots of 6 over 2 times 6, which would be 12. And the reciprocal of the cotan is going to be, uh, the reciprocal of the tan, excuse me, is cotan. I'm going to take the reciprocal. The reciprocal is simply 2 square roots of 6.